Welcome to the Account Solutions. This channel is dedicated to bring you solutions to your everyday tasks in areas of bookkeeping, business administration, accounting and taxation. If you like what you are doing here, kindly click on the subscription button and support us. Enjoy the rest of this tutorial. This expiring date tracker basically is a modification of the ones we've had um, in the past. We've tried to add some little bit of BVA codes to it to make the templates easier for users to use. So we have the first um, page you will see the dashboard that shows you number of certificates that you have in the database, number below 90 days to expire, total number of certificates that expired this month or will expire in this month. The total expired certificate and total of expiring next month. So, gives you a snapshot of you know the certificates or your papers that want to renew. If you are renewing vehicle papers or um, licenses, you know, uh, for a company in different department, it gives you a snapshot, you know, of what you need to look at for this month and next month. And if you have a dash um, board by your right, right, showing you, you know, number of certificates available. You know the serial number, the name, and the days remaining active, expired, expiring soon. Just see um, reports based on your certificate in database. You can add more. This um, dashboard is put to a formula. You don't need to do anything here. So let's go to the setup. Just simple setup. If you have um, a de department in your company, maybe you have different papers or different licenses for different items in the company you want to track if it's for factory maintenance operations or production just um type in the, the department name and those in charge like hod if it's not relevant just ignore this and move on so go to the database click on it so you see you have a serial number this is the main template this is where all the work is done in fact you don't even need the dashboard when you have this but just to give us a quick snapshot we'll create a dashboard for you but with this um, database, you can just look at the serial numbers, certificate, just change the name, and call it whatever I want to call it, and say, okay, medical renewal license. Okay, so that's it for factory. Renewal date, that's the last renewal date, and expiring date. Just put the date here, and it will give you days remaining and the status. Once you've done that, go back to your dashboard. You can change all this. Uh, let's call this one vehicle papers, for example. Let's call um, this one trademark um, certificate or whatever. So we have this. Go at your dashboard. Okay. Just you see the first one has to medical renewal license, vehicle papers, trademark certificate. Okay. So you can just change all these um, names here. Once you change the name, type in the date, you know, that the, the, the last renewal date and the next expiring date, and we are done. That is what you need to do. And we have a report to call status that gives you a um, quick snapshot, expired items, expired expiring this week, expiring next week. We have expired or expiring this month, expiring next month, expiring next quarter, expired or expiring next quarter, uh, sorry, this year. So you see you have um, different options of reports to know which ones are expiring to this week, next week, this month, next month, this quarter, and this year. So once you've populated your database, just come to the table, table, click on the table, right click, and refresh. So you can see expired items. These are all the expired items. Expiring this week, none. Expiring next week, we have them four, five of them here, four of them. So let's just let's check what have expired this week. Go back to your database. Let's change the expiring date for the first one to October. October tenth, for example, just today. Okay, 
let's go back to our status and right click on here the tables refresh it so you can see this next table expired expiring this week as populated so it's simple to use so you can see that the total number of certificates that has expired this month is now five why before it was 17 that you expire that that, that below 90 days to expire is now 16. so you can see everything is changing based on you know as the dates are changing they're all changing so a unique thing about this template is that you can actually delete all these ones that have expired and delete them but you can't be able to delete from this particular sheet because this database is meant to be locked to avoid updating the formulas so that is to protect the integrity of the formulas and of the tracker so you can check other reports here you can see all the reports from your database if you click on factory you will see all the certificates that were expired from the factory department. Click on maintenance department, you will see the ones that were expired. Operations, production. All you need to do is to right click and refresh. Okay, once you update the database. Now, I want to check the number of days to expire. Those that have two days to expire, just click on two and you will see all of them. I have one from factory and three from operation. Click on. Um, 61 days to expire. I have only one item. Those have expired since 28 days ago. You have a number of them from maintenance department, operation, and production. So you can track all of those certificates. Okay, so, so just uncheck this um, funnel to clear the filter. Then finally, you go to expired. If I want to delete all the items that have expired, I have four buttons here. I have generate expired, reset, delete expired, and archive. If I click on generate expired, it will give me the list of certificates that have expired from this database. Now you be careful. If you want to delete it forever, you click on delete expired. When you do that, it will delete from the database and you won't get it again in this block. You can undo your action. If you click archive expired, it will delete your database and it will now post to an archive database in case you want to make reference to them in future. So this is your archive database. It's empty, nothing is there. Okay, to so go back to your expired um, uh, sheet. So like I said, you can only delete when you don't want to have um, the expired certificate or items on the database. But if you want to still keep them for reference sake, uh, what you need to do is to archive them. So what you need to do is to um, generate them, you will see all the list of certificates that have expired in the database. Once you click on archive, it will, what it will do is that it will post these items to a database for archives and delete it from your main database. So say okay to so ask you to delete entire row. Yes. Okay, so you are fine. What you need to do again is to come back to your database. You will see there are no more uh, expired items here. They are all deleted. So go back to your dashboard, you will see your number of certificates have dropped significantly. Go to your status, right click, and refresh. See, so you don't have any item that expired, it will be deleted from your database. So that's how you can check them. Finally, go to dashboard, scroll down, see that nothing there, there is no product here. All you need to do is to come back to your, to your uh, database and copy all these numbers. You want to see them on the dashboard, copy them, then go to your dashboard and paste values, paste special, paste values, and you will see all certificates will come out again. So if you need to know more on these certificates, just give us a call or send us an email through our contact form on the website. Thank you.